The video is an informative one and does not call for violence. Hello, it's Mad Science Channel, and today we will be dismantling a robot with artificial intelligence. Interested? Let's go then! I think many of you immediately recognized this little cute robot. Because he has become the main character of our ESIS more than once. This is the robot and Geek Cosmo. Its main feature is artificial intelligence. We also advise you to watch the previous ESIS bot Cosmo. There you will find a lot of interesting things. Today we are faced with a rather unusual task. In addition, we will also run the assembled Cosmo and see how it reacts in such situation. The first difficulties arose at a very early stage. Visual inspection of Cosmo did not answer the question how to disassemble it. No bolts are visible. What to do is not clear. As a result, we decided to start with logical and simple actions. We removed the tracks and once again examined the robot. There were still no visible screws. It baffled us. At this point we noticed a small white pad on the Cosmo bucket that flexed under pressure. Removing it, we found the attachment points of the parts. Everything became very clear. You should look for the screws under other covers on the Cosmo case. We found them there. Next we went directly to the disassembly of the robot. Emphasize that the video is not an advertisement. Moreover, the company Anki, which once developed the robots, has now ceased to exit. Small screws also showed up under the lining on the Cosmo wheels. We also removed them. Of the interesting features, the robot have front wheel drive. The rear wheels perform mostly an axillary function, allowing the use of a tracked type of movement. This has a positive effect on the patience of the robot, allowing it to move on different surfaces without much difficulty. Under the large wheel we found a small lump of dust. Therefore, if the Cosmo runs on the floor a lot, it will definitely collect a lot of dust. If you have pets, there will also be hair. Removing the wheels we found a few more screws, with one of them deeply sunk into the body. The problem was that it was not possible to get it with an ordinary screwdriver, and there was no special thing tool at hand. However, a way out was found. We took an ordinary nail, bent it and got a kind of analog of a thin screwdriver, which eventually coped well with its task. It remains to unscrew a few screws that are in the head of the robot. By the way, did you know that Cosmo has its own birthday? The robot was born back in 2010. At the same time, the beginning of sales falls on the 2016th year. It took Anki a full six years to turn the first Cosmo prototype into a production model and ship it to store shelves. This part of the robot contains a speaker. The voice of Cosmo. When we looked inside the robot's head, we found there a gear train with which it raises and lowers its head. Inside the other part of the head there is such a spring. Gradually we got to the brain of the robot. We disconnect it carefully from Cosmo's body. This is what a panel with a screen looks like. It shows the robot's size. Below there is the camera, which would be more logical to call the real eyes of Cosmo because it is thanks to it the robot looks at the world around him. It is not worthy that the animated eyes, which are designed to improve the process of interaction of Cosmo with a person due to a more accurate transmission, 
of the robot's emotions were developed by Pixar, which became famous for its animated films. We have almost reached our goal. Now that Cosmo has one side of his arm dismantled, it's time to open the robot's body. And here we were surprised. Inside Cosmo there are a large number of electronics and all kinds of gears. Initially we expected that from a technical point of view, the internal structure of the robot would be many times simpler than it turned out to be in reality. Yes, there should definitely be room inside for the battery, motors and other important components. But what we saw was amazing. Cosmo has over 360 parts. In particular, four electric motors, two of which are used for movement, and two more are used for the movement of the bucket. That is its hand. It was interesting for us to look at the battery of the robot. Inside the Cosmo we found a lithium-ion power supply with a capacity of 320 milliamps per hour. Battery voltage is 3.7. We also noticed three weights of about 8 grams each. There are much less advanced technologies in the Cosmo body than in his head, where they are concentrated. We are sure that the developers had to put the most effort into the process of creating the artificial intelligence of Cosmo. As we promised earlier, it's time to turn on the disassembled robot and watch its reaction. Now you definitely know a little more about robots and what parts they are made of. In the future we would also like to disassemble our other robot, Vector. Moreover, it's not easy to disassemble, but to swap the Cosmo and Vector boards. As a result, Cosmo head will be on the Vector's body and vice versa. How do you like this idea? If you want to see it, write WANT in the comments. That's all for today. If you are interested, do not forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel, share videos with your friends and press the bell, so as not to miss new episodes. It was Mad Science Channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon!